And yes, to my horror and to the world's disgrace, <laughs> justice is mocked and I have lost my case. <laughs> a scoundrel whose dishonesty is notorious emerged from another lie, victorious. I've never had any interest in becoming as clever as this. Uh, my studies never took me beyond grammar school. <laughs> but no, you will never believe how everyone thinks I am a doctor. I feel I might stick to this profession my whole life. <laughs> it's the best of all. Because whether you do right or wrong, you always get paid <laughs> the same way. Unless you're a junior doctor today. <laughs> do you think I leave Olympus without good reason? I wish to warn you of this crime, because it is my will to avert it. To warn me? How strange. Why strange? Surely it's natural enough. Your life is in danger. You want to save it. Who asked you to save it? What about Agamemnon? He wanted to live. So it was to lecture me, it would appear that you badly wanted to bring me back here? I have no desire to quarrel. But your nature, your inability to only shut the doors to all these suitors who constantly besiege you. Well, I deplore that I can't go through this with you. Is it my fault, you think, that all these men pursue me? Am I to blame because they're attracted to me? And when they gently beg for a moment or more, am I to take a stick and drive them from my door? Oh, no, madam, it's not a stick you need, but a, a heart less tender and less inclined to heed. Not just this man, but all humanity work on self-interest and vanity. Enough. Enough. Let's leave this, this jackal's lair. Since you live like wolves, you savage race of men. You shall not look upon my face again. So is this the king you wanted for Argos? I parade the terror of my frown and all who see me cringe in an agony of repentance. But what am I? But an empty shell. Don't rush into exile too prematurely. Things are not as bad as you make them, surely. Indeed, his tale is so patently untrue that it might do him more harm than you. Nothing can do that scoundrel any harm. His mediocrity is his greatest charm, and far from hurting him, another. Adventure will see him tomorrow in a better posture. You may rest assured in this regard. And as for your lawsuit, it should not be hard to have the case reopened and contested. No, judgment. no. Let the verdict rest. It will stand as a clear condemnation of the wickedness of this generation. But in the end... But in the end, what can you say? Has anyone ever seen something so inhuman? Was ever a heart so betrayed by a woman? What? I have every reason for my fury. I complain and she is both judge and jury? She won't deny her guilt, she glories in it. A sweet old.